Welcome back. The video I'm about to show you is on vermiculture. Uh, vermiculture is uh, boxed uh, worms. So you buy uh, red wigglers, you usually buy about a pound, and you put them in a box and you tend to it with your food scraps. And you do less harm by throwing less away because it stays where you're at. And you want to know how to change the world? There's a way. And, and you have to act. And so uh, make the changes. Make the changes to change the world into a better place uh, by doing it at home with your daily routines and some of those may seem uh, inconvenient uh, but tough it is what it is we, uh, we we have to do something so that we pollute less so that we waste less and uh, learn how to do where we're at and uh, be pretty happy about it and so Yep, that's what this video is. Um, I hope you enjoy it, and uh, we'll see you again. Well, all right. So, there's no rhyme or reason to the order of these videos, but I wanted to show you the indoor worm bin. So, here is, I won't get you too close because it's kind of gross, uh, hair, leaves, um, I've been having a lot of house plants lately, uh, and so you lose branches and stems and whatnot, and then of course you brush your hair, you have hair, uh, trimmings from plants and vegetables from cooking, and Years ago, I was taking this course through the library on sustainability, and basically you got together in a group and you talked about it, and just discussed, and this was something that came up to me that was just a good idea. I don't know if you can see that. All those little white hairs are the next generation of worm. So we don't want to hurt that. And I will bring in. Now I've had this bin going for... Oh... It's got to be a couple of decades now. Nearly 20 years. The same bin. It's not the same worms, of course. I've never bought more worms, though. It's the same breed. They just breed themselves and reproduce and die and continue. And so this doesn't smell, which, believe that or not, this does not smell anything other than earth. I'll bring you back in here for a second. Hopefully you can see what's happening. So... I lived in an apartment when I started this, and I thought, how can I reduce the amount of waste that I'm putting in the landfill? Because in talking about sustainability, you got to focus on those things. And so, uh, hair is slow to decompose. But hair has a lot of nitrogen, and so this ends up going on plants, and I'll show you that in a later video when I divide these two. There's a coffee filter, uh, looks like a stem, a leaf, but as you can tell, it's mostly black. And I promise you, what I showed you in those bowls is 
the least of what I put in here. You can put eggshells. You can put all of your produce scraps from cooking. Be aware of things like garlic and onion can be a little bit too acidic. And so can kind of throw off the pH. Try to go with detrimental. You have to ask someone else. Oh, that last thing I want to show you. Uh, I've got this stuff in my aquarium called Frog Bit. And it reproduces like crazy and covers the top of the aquarium. And so I scoop it out and throw it in air too. And it adds moisture. And it helps to process the nutrients out of the aquarium. Well, not the nutrients, the toxins. All the nitrates and whatnot that build up in the aquarium go into the plant. And then you take it out, you put it here, and then the worms digest it all. Now you notice what I did. Hopefully you notice what I did. If you didn't, here's what I did. I dug a trench. I put the scraps down and I covered it all back up and you can see that it's just covered. And that'll keep it from decay. That's the big difference here. Is the difference between decay and decomposition. Decomposition occurs with bacteria and rhizomes, not rhizomes. Uh, it's late. Um, stuff, living stuff that then eats the matter and the worms eat that and they poop out all the black and then the poop I'll show you in this middle bin I don't know if you can see that you might be a little wet to put this on the ground but that one is a year old and I'm going to rotate so this one I'm going to take what's in there out Put it in the sun, I'll show you that in the video. It'll be fun. And then each one of these, these two green ones, each have holes drilled in them so the worms can move in and out. The bottom one has no holes drilled in the bottom because that's the water basin. So all the liquid that builds up in here eventually it just pushes down through and drips down. And then you have this black liquid. Worms will live in it, but you take that and it's liquid fertilizer. Water it down, use it straight, depending on, I'd say, how uh, old your plant is. Uh, but it, this is plant food, and it's made out of all sorts of cool stuff that we put in there. Now, my garden worms, most of that goes into my outdoor compost. And what's going on in here and then you about that too but there's lots of stuff going to take the middle bin outside. I'll show you how to divide it so look at that you can see the worms a bunch of them are climbing up the walls I always wonder This is where I buried from last week. Alright, so this one handed. You can see where there's still debris down here at the bottom, but it's decomposing well. Still has a very earthy smell to it. This is a week of plant clippings and coffee grounds. And that kind of smells. But that was what I already had going in there. In that bowl. So, bury that up and hopefully it'll keep that smell down. Oh, 
middle vein. If you can see it, is pretty finished. Well, not pretty. It looks finished. It's moist. There's no solid matter in it. Okay, back inside for a bit. Squishy here. This is called compost tea, and it's just the fluid that drips down. Through the compost, collects on the bottom, and I usually water this down and water that to plants. up close. You can see a twig right here. It's pretty soft, but that's not going to help us with fertilizer. So we're going to take this, put that over. You can see the holes that I drilled in this. It's the same as the top, because this will become the new top. Not this time, then next. Right, got a shovel here. Basically, what we do is we just pile this up. Like so. Sorry if my arm was in the way. I've only done this a few times. can't tell, maybe. Anyway, it looks like jello. Pretty squishy. This is just all worm castings. And so you can see the worms here and here and here. So I don't know. This isn't in direct sun, so this might change how this works right now. But the basic idea is that the light here is going to chase the worms in, and so you can start to pull away the castings, and then the worms will dive deeper. So we're going to see how well this works. It's going to take some time for them to want to go inside. So we'll see how long it takes. It's been about an hour, and let's see those squiggers. So, one thing that didn't get eaten is eggshells, and that's okay, because eggshells are beneficial for other things, and we will sort of uh, wash them off, because what I'm thinking of doing with this is making some more tea. Tea is the I think, easiest way to use this stuff. And so, I'm going to take the castings and then just soak them in water. It'll basically pull the nutrients into the water. And then, to water the plants with. And the castings themselves will be a little bit weaker. But I can put it into a soil mix. I pray 
promise this does not smell. I'm actually really surprised. Every once in a while I get a whiff of something that tells me that the process went foul. And you just gotta figure it out and amend it. One year in that I just pulled out the middle chamber there was a fungus that grew something and the worms had pulled away and so there was this like ball of dead something that shouldn't have been there and the worms had completely just like this I don't know if you can see that well this outer area they pulled away this the castings were pulled away. It was like a bomb went off inside the chamber. And it was actually really cool. But yeah, this is life. And you're maintaining it. And sometimes things just don't always work out. the way that you plan, and you just work around it. Alright, so that was a good... good scraping. You go that way. that back up in the middle. And yes, this looks like a pile of poo because it is a pile of poo. Worm castings. Look at all this goodness. And vegetable tags and seeds and all sorts of crap that I put in here that didn't get eaten up. That's an avocado shell, is it? Bitter avocado shell. Worms don't eat avocado shells. But it doesn't do harm, so... Yeah, we'll give this more time and we'll scoop again. You can see the little critters, maybe. And the light chases them in. We're going to come back out here and do that again before the sun goes down. So it's about 6.30, almost 7 o'clock in the evening. It's late July. Looks like it was a little bit farther. I don't want to have to take this another day. If I started this earlier and the area I'm in right here gets light early in the afternoon. And the direct light will speed this along pretty fast. But right now it's just bright outside. like we got a pretty good size clump of the castings off. I don't know if you can tell, but we're running into worms more often. You can see a big clump right there. So they're definitely running out of space to go.
pretty decent job in a couple of hours. Mostly set under air conditioning, watching gardening videos, because that's how I geek out for my entertainment. And I like to learn things. And, uh, that's also kind of what motivated me to do this. I figured there's probably other people out there. Maybe like you, it might get an idea out of something like this. So I said before with the worm bin, it's an exceptional way to keep food waste, in my case also plant waste, out of the landfill. That's pretty important because the less room we use for things that decompose naturally, keep them on site, and use that waste well again on site on our own property, on our own house plants. So yeah, less waste. So you can see the squigglers running down, trying to get deeper. If I let this go overnight, by the morning they will make a ball. And the rest of this has no worms. And we're going to make a compost tea out of that. So here's the worm castings. Got the water turned on. See the squiggler in there. Come back over here. And he'll have a better chance of living. really mixed up good. See how dark that water is. And we'll mix that up every day and start to use it. Any wigglers floating? No? Good. And we'll stir that up with a shovel or something and start putting it on the plants here in the patio being potted up, they don't get a lot of their own nutrients from the soil, so we'll add it as we go. Alright. So I left this out overnight. It dried out quite a bit. have kind of just all gathered here in the middle. And I'll just use this, I'll put it back the newspaper. Let's 
so you can see all those there. I'm just going to take this, put it right back in the, the bin inside, and use this newspaper as the new cover. So I'll wet it down, and uh, these guys will be ready to start eating again. Alright, let's stop stressing these guys out.